Hello. I am so excited to be with you today on day number six of the Lower Back Flow Challenge. Yeah, so we have almost made it to the end. <laughs> Thank you for being on this beautiful ride with me. And I really, really want to know how your lower back is doing. So share with me. I just can't wait to hear. Yeah. So, hey, Birdie Bear. Glad you're on. Anyway, I um, am excited about today because today's about all about going with the flow of life. Yeah. So life is going to bring us challenges. It just does, right? Things flow in, things flow out, and there's not much that we can do about it except either go for the ride or resist, right? Because even just a little bit of not going for the ride is resisting. And I know I have tried resisting the flow of life, it doesn't work. I get just beat up by life when I resist. And we have to learn. We have to learn to let go and go with the flow. Now, our lower back pain. Hey, everybody. Hey, Debbie. Glad you're on. Hey, Natasha, Tanya, Karen. Yay. I'm so glad you guys are here with me today. Boop, boop. Um, I know in my life, like when my back pain, when my back hurts, I now take it as my signal that I am not going with the flow of life, like something's causing me to hang on. And oftentimes it's just that I haven't been going with the flow inside of myself, meaning I think I've got to clean my whole house all in one moment <laughs> and I just go for it and I don't stop and listen to the natural flow inside of myself and I bust past all the messages that say stop and just like you know I want to do this <laughs> and so I'm hanging on to the idea of I've got to do something and yeah I could want to do that thing but all in one moment that's what gets me a lot I hang on to the thought that I am able to <laughs> do something that I want to very quickly and get it done and do it all. Well, we all know how that goes, right? <laughs> so that's how I often step out of the flow of life and out of the flow of life moving in me where I don't even pick up on the, my own body signals that say, Ooh, stop, this is not in the flow for us. We need to move slower, we need to, um, have some rest, we need to drink some water. <laughs> I love starting my day with just water, just plain water, because here's the other thing. We are like the ocean. <laughs> we have salt water in us, and we have like we are like 90 some percent salt water. And we have to keep replenishing our water. And if we don't, if we get dried out, we miss the flow as well. We become dry and stiff and unable to move with the flow inside of us and outside of us. Now that's one thing. The other thing is like these movements. These movements create um, synovial fluid in our body, which is the uh, lubricant of our joints. And when we're going with the flow and we move and flow in a way that um, heals our body, then we can move smoothly with the flow of life. So, uh, yeah, we're here to learn to move with the flow of life together today. Just let me see who else jumped on. Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Laura. Ooh, glad you're here. So I wanted to start, you know, I love poems. I'm going to start by reading this poem because this poem has helped me so much to go with the flow of life. And then we're going to jump into a little practice. All right. This is from Rumi's Path of Love. Rumi is my favorite poet. 
It's chapter 10. In wanting to hold on to the security, to the rock at hand that we think will keep us safe, we forget our essential nature. We have emerged from the ocean of soul. We are like pearls grown and made more beautiful by each tide of life crashing over us again and again without respite. The ebbs and flows of existence are our natural habitat. And once we realize the risings and fallings, the risings and fallings, we will finally begin to feel at home. We will finally begin to feel at home. Home is the ocean, the vastness of unity, the time of eternal beauty. Let us open to our mysterious and wondrous essential nature. Let us merge into the ocean of love. We will then be drowned in a wave of bestowal and put to sleep by the roar of the sea to awaken again, to awaken again, to see the morning up to see the morning of happiness just dawned. Ah, oh, so beautiful. And I will tell you, the more that I listen to the flow inside of me and allow life to flow in and around me, the happier I am. It's that resistance that causes me unhappiness. And as I go to unhappiness, I will go all the way down into fear. <laughs> Anger, this is where it's held, control, and guilt. How about you? I bet you have the same story. And then when I'm in fear, anger, control, and guilt, guess what? Boom! My lower back will start to talk to me. Or in the past, when I didn't know what to do with my lower back, when it started to talk to me, I didn't listen. It would just be in chronic pain all the time. <laughs> So let's do a little flow practice together. You guys ready? Let's do it. So I'm just gonna put my camera down so you can see me. All right, so go get on your mat. You don't need anything but your mat today. So jump on your mat with me. All right, so we're gonna start on all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to roll my inner arms out, just like so. Yeah. Then I'm going to drop my head and up. And I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together and dropping them down toward my tail and lifting my ribs a bit so I have a neutral lower back. Now that I'm here, I'm going to start to breathe because the breath is the flow. We breathe in. Now, in this position, as I breathe in, my belly drops toward the floor. As I breathe out, my belly goes back in and up toward my body. So just try that for a bit. You can even put your hand here. Breathing in, the belly will drop into your hand or toward the floor. Exhaling, it pulls back and in and up. So again, and once you have that, just as best as you can get it for right now. Let go and just breathe. <sighs> shake anything out like my head and neck feels like it needs a good shake out. <sighs> and then I want to make circles with my hips. You just follow along or do whatever your body wants to do. <sighs> <sighs> I'm breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth. Ah. <sighs> Using that ha breath to convert everything that's stuck in there. Fear, anger, uh, control, guilt, that I think is the rock at hand that will keep me safe, right? It doesn't. Uh, so I just uh, breathe it out. Now, once I'm there, uh, I'm going to come into stillness, take a deep breath in. Exhale, I'm going to step my left foot forward. I'm going to walk my left foot forward as I drop my tail down and forward. Now, if my knee, my back knee hurts, I can fold up my mat for more cushion, or I could grab my blanket for more cushion. So just make sure that your back knee is not going to hurt. Ah, then once I'm here, each out breath, 
I drop my tail down. Ha. Huh. I drop my tail down. Now, if I'm really tight, this is going to be hard. I might not be able to move my um, pelvic bowl as far forward. And don't worry about it. Over time, you you know you may be back here, and that's okay. Over time, this is going to drop in. So don't worry about it. Ha! Huh. Just keep doing these things. Breathing huh. in and out, and each out breath. I'm just doing the opening for the pelvic bowl, so I'm not going to open my heart in this piece. I'm just dropping my tail down. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. And you may notice, oh, that really nice opening in your right quad. Ha. Huh. You're releasing fear, and you might start to feel it come up into your iliopsoas. Fear huh, of others. Ha. Huh. Uh, and notice we hold and breathe here. Uh, nothing's fast, no movements, fast through poses. Those days are gone if you really want to learn to go with the flow of your life and listen to the flow of your own body. Uh, uh, uh. Now, when you're ready from here, you're going to walk uh, your left foot to the Oops, wait, don't do that. <laughs> Walk it back. <laughs> You're going to take your hands to the inside of your left foot. Walk your hands forward, and if you can, drop to your elbows. Now, when you're here, drop your head and neck, and just breathe and keep dropping your pelvis down toward the floor. But some of you are too tight. You can't go to your elbows without falling over. So I want you then just to stay and whatever place you can bend your elbows in. Some of you will just stay in your lunge. Don't worry about it. Just go as deep as you can. <sighs> just make sure you haven't rocked your pelvis too far out of alignment and just stay here and breathe. <sighs> <sighs> and now you may feel this in that inner left leg. We are releasing anger ha, toward ourselves. Ha, 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 not in a hurry. Stay as long as you can. And again, you may be up here and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I gotta move my arms. <laughs> so at any point you do need to move, you just come out, place your hands on either side of that left foot. Now we walk that left foot to the right. Let that foot slide ah, and come into a pigeon. Now, here's the deal. I don't want ever your knees to hurt. So if your knee hurts here, you just hold up a blanket or a pillow or put your block. And I'm putting it under my left butt cheek. Ah. Then I'm supported and the weight isn't going to be on my left knee. All right. Now, here I walk my back foot back. Walk my back foot back, just back as far as it'll go. And I just stay up on my elbows for a moment. Exhale again, dropping my tail. I want my ribs to come in, back in toward my body and down toward my pelvic bowl so I don't create too much of a give in my lower back. Head and neck loose and free. Then I'm just going to drop to my elbows, palms up. Let my head and neck go. And left butt cheek, releasing control and guilt. Letting go of those heavy rocks at hand that we think are going to keep us safe. Control has never kept me safe. All it's done is hurt my lower back. I mean, I'm telling you, I literally have hurt myself. <laughs> by thinking that I could control anybody or even just wishing that somebody was different. Oh, so I just stay here and breathe. Deep breaths in, full breaths out. Ha. 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 How you doing? Ha. Couple more breaths here. Ha. Ha. 
Now, when I need to come out, I'm just going to take my back toes under. Now, we're all different here, so you're not maybe going to do this quite as gracefully, but that's okay. I come up on my hands, and then I can step back a little bit with my front leg, forward with my back, and then at a certain point, I'm going to lift myself up and come into a downward facing dog. Now, in my downward facing dog, I just want to bicycle out a little bit. Just, oh. Bend one knee and push to the opposite heel. That really feels good. And I'm breathing. Deep breaths in. Belly pooches out. Full breaths out. <sighs> belly falls back and in toward my spine. <sighs> now I settle myself into my down dog for a moment. Head and neck loose and free. And just breathe here. <sighs> Hands may hurt. You may need to come out. That's okay. Whenever you need to come out, we're coming back to all fours. So at any point, you can do that. Now I'm going to drop to all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. I bring my ribs up and in, roll my inner arms out, squeeze my shoulder blades together, drop my head and neck. And just move in whatever I want to move. Oh, that feels good. And I start breathing. Breathing into my hand, if you want to put there and check it, or toward the floor, and exhaling. Ha! Oh, belly moves back up toward my spine. Ha! Oh, ha! Oh. Now I inhale, do nothing. Exhale, I'm going to step my right foot forward, and I walk it as far forward as I can, dropping my tail down and forward, down and forward, yeah. And again, I may be way back here. Again, it might be like hard for me to get my hands to the floor. I just do the best that I can. And check that back knee just to make sure you don't need to put um, a little pillow underneath that knee. Good. <sighs> <sighs> Now you're really feeling that left quad, uh, releasing fear of yourself. Uh, 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 you might feel it into the iliopsoas as well. It's awesome, right? Oh, feels so good. Uh, 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 you might be getting tired, and that's okay. Like, we're all in different places, so at any point, you need to, you just move on. You put your hands to the inside of your foot, and then you can walk your front foot further forward. If you can still stay in your lunge, do. So I like to hold poses for like two minutes, yeah. But if you're ready to move on, hands to the inside, yeah. And then... When you are inside, so we're getting to that point where everybody can move there, you can walk your front foot as far forward as you can. Walk your hands forward and then drop down to your elbows. But if you feel like you're going to tump over, like your pelvis is really rocking over to one side, I don't want you to come all the way down to your elbows. You just go as far as you can. Head and neck loose and free. So you just go where you can. Some of you will be up on your hands, uh, just maybe in a wider pose, and it might be like, ah, I can't hold this very long. It's okay, just hold as long as you can. Uh, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Uh, uh, uh. Now you might be feeling this in your right inner leg. That is releasing anger toward them. <laughs> Right? You probably need to release a little anger toward them, right? <laughs> Them's got me all angry. <laughs> uh, uh, and hanging on to this stuff won't ever do anything but hurt us. Uh, now when you're ready to come up, you just come up onto your hands, hands on either side of your right foot, walk your right foot to the left, drop your right knee to the floor, and then walk your back foot back, walk your back foot back. Again, if you need pillow or towel or something as your right knee hurts or this hip is way up in the air, just put something underneath your bottom. It will really help. All right. And then uh, once that back foot is walked back as far as it can, roll your inner arms out, squeeze your shoulder blades together, get your ribs in and down towards your pelvic bowl to help keep length in your lower back. And breathe. 
Head and neck loosen free. Really roll those inner arms out. Now we're going to just drop down the elbows. And feel. Feel that release in your right butt cheek. You are letting go of guilt and control that you have around others. Let it go. <sighs> Don't feel guilty anymore about whatever you've done. It does no good to hang on to. Just move on. Forgive yourself. Forgive them. <sighs> and uh, you can't control anybody or anything. In wishing that they were different doesn't do anything but jam up your lower back. If you want things to be different in your world, then you be different. You know, you make the changes that you want to make in your life. You can do it. And then all of a sudden you won't even notice anybody else. You'll be like living a life of happiness and flow. And you'll be like, well, it's just life. Life brings us these challenges. That's what we're here for work on these challenges to overcome them. Huh. So you're doing the work. Yay! Your lower back is going to feel so good from it. Because that's just our warning sign that we are not going with the flow. Huh. That we are stopping and hanging on to the rock at hand that we think will keep us safe. That rock is low energies. That rock is fear. That rock is anger. That rock is guilt. That rock is control. Let it go. Huh. Just visualize that rock Boom, coming out of your butt. <laughs> oh, all right. Now, when you've had enough, you're just going to come walking back up onto your hands. And then you can uh, step that back knee forward and slide your foot leg back until you can come up and back into your downward facing dog. And just bicycle it out a little bit. <sighs> <sighs> Head and neck loose and free. Uh, uh, you've done it! Yay! <laughs> Just stay as long as you can. If you need to drop to all fours, please do. We are going to hold our downward dog and breathe here. Breathing into our bellies and out of our bellies. Uh, feel the rising up of each inhalation. The setting down of each exhalation. Uh, and let this be the symbol of dropping into the rising and falling of life, the ebb and flow of life. <sighs> and just go with it. <sighs> <sighs> now when you need to, you just come, come to all fours, do the same thing, keep that flow. <sighs> <sighs> Watch that belly pooch out as you inhale. Uh, drop back and then up as you exhale. That's how the body moves naturally if you're using your diaphragm to breathe. Uh, uh, and then drop into a child's pose. Now you may not get all the way back, but to heels, if not, just forehead to the floor wherever you are, or just drop back and breathe. Uh, Put your hands on your lower back wherever you are and just brush on it. Oh, give it some love. Love on it. Appreciate it. For it is your warning system. It's been trying to tell you to take really good care of it, maybe for a really long time. It's been telling you to let go of fear, anger, guilt, and control. Ah. Ha, ha, nice. And now all we're going to do is just flip ourselves over uh, onto our back into a little boat pose. This is our lower back's best friend. So after any movement, this movement, you've been out in the garden, you've been whatever, walking, <laughs> running, dancing, biking, come back onto the floor and knees to chest and make circles on your sacrum and ease out anything like your lower back right now should feel pretty good because that those movements actually open up and release fear and anger and control and guilt <laughs> and it takes pressure off the lower back 
But if you're not used to it, and it might be like still, you know, lower back still talking to you. You've got a little more to go, right? Because uh, some of you didn't get this lower back pain overnight. Awesome. Then just a couple breaths here. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Saying ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Then you can drop your feet to the floor. Arms to the floor. Palms up. And just let go. Now, you can just stay here and just rest as I talk to you, or you could come up if you wanted to. It's up to you, but I wanted to talk a little more about going with the flow of life. So we learned today that, you know, the breath <laughs> mimics that rise and fall of things ebbing and flowing in our life. It's like the waves of the ocean, and the waves come in and the waves flow out and things come into our lives and things flow out of our lives and that's the way it works. Now our work is not to hang on, not to go down and hang on to a rock at the bottom of the ocean trying to cling on and be battered by those waves, but just to go with it. Like I was just watching a turtle the other day and we had really high surf and I was watching this turtle and it didn't fight the waves. It just went, it grabbed a little nibble and then it was pulled out and then it came back in and grabbed another little nibble and it was pulled back out. It didn't say, I gotta stay here and eat right now and it's my way or the highway. It just went with the flow. It was beautiful. And that's the way that we are meant to go with life. That is how life will get free, flowing, smooth with us. And it's also about listening to the flow inside of us. Like, don't fight the flow inside of us. Like, I used to fight the flow all the time saying, no, you know, I want to get this thing done. I'm, like, really driven to get this um completed, checked off my list or whatever, and I didn't listen to my body. And I believe that is one of the reasons that I ended up in chronic back pain, that push, that force, that not listening to myself. Yeah, so I'm setting you up for today's challenge, but I'm gonna just see if you have any questions first. Let's see, hey, Chris, Sharon. Daisy, Jane, Hillary, Cindy, I'm so glad you guys are all here. Yay. This is so good. My legs and hips feel open, free, and longer. Yay. Natasha, I just thought Honu when you said turtle. Yes, you've been in Hawaii long enough where the turtle becomes the Honu. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So for today's challenge, I want you to visualize these waves of the breath coming in and out of your body as much as you can today. So how it works is our diaphragm, when we take an in-breath, moves down, so air can fill into our lungs, right? And our belly pooches out. And then as we exhale, uh, our belly drops back and in and up, and the diaphragm pushes up into our lungs, pushing the breath out. So in, diaphragm down, belly out, out, ha, belly in and up, diaphragm up, pushing breath out. So, ha, I want you to stop several times today and just breathe like this. Ha. So maybe like you use a marker like when I'm driving and I get to a stop sign or a stoplight. Ha, before you move forward. Maybe when your child yells at you, don't just respond. Take a Ah, a couple deep breaths and be reminded ah, of the waves of the breath and that you are 97% salt water. You are the ocean. And can you imagine if the ocean stopped and tried to hang on? Or if the ocean creatures tried to hang on? <laughs> it wouldn't work. They have to go with the flow <laughs> because that's the way it works. And if you're in the ocean trying to fight, the ebbs and the flows and the currents, it doesn't work. 
if any of you have tried that, I live in the ocean a lot and I don't fight it. I go with it. I let it carry me back and I let it carry me forward. And if I want to go a certain direction, I just work with it. I don't fight it. <laughs> and you learn that living in the ocean. Yeah. So just practicing your breath today. And when it, when something comes up, you just go, you know, into your breath instead of running to whoever, whatever, the phone going off. <sighs> Remember to breathe instead of running to it and picking it up and getting all involved in whatever that thing is. Now I do want to say to you, we're getting close to the end of our time together. I know it's hard, <laughs> but we can continue this because I have just taught you the tip of the iceberg of what is available to help your lower back. But we have to take a longer journey together. And I put that journey together and I call it lower back bliss. And it's 21 days of us doing this kind of work, but I've broken it out in little different ways where we do 10 minute little practices, um, 10 to 15 minute practices a day. And you will um, further release fear, anger, control, and guilt, will reinstate your emotional guidance system, you'll learn to connect deeply in your relationships, and own your gifts and talents. That's what this space is all about, the space of the pelvic bowl that contains our lower back. It contains our gifts and talents, our emotions, and our ability to connect to others. And so we'll be working all on that in 21 days. Now, the people that have taken this um, journey with me already, most started out anywhere from a six to a 10 in their level of lower back pain. And every one of them ended up at a one to a three. And a one is no pain. A 10 is like, holy moly, 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 that hurts. <laughs> so you too can have that. You just have to know what to do. And I'm going to continue to teach you what to do now. Here's the best thing. You can continue free for three more days with me, taking the lower back bliss journey and just kind of get a feel for it. And then, of course, I'd love for you to stay because I know, I know the testimonials. I know the people who've done this and what has happened to them and how they've released their lower back pain. I know what happened to me. Like, I don't live in chronic lower back pain anymore. In fact, I live pain-free. And if my lower back starts to talk to me, because it will, because I have an injury where my ligaments and tendons are overstretched. And so my back will start to go out occasionally. I know exactly what to do to get it back in. And boom, I'm, I'm free again. I don't feel anything, not even a little twinge. And you can live like that too. You just have to want to. So come on, Wana, join me. Let's get back to having a happy, joyful life, no longer clinging to these rocks at hand that we think will keep us safe, right? Thanks, Rumi, for those beautiful words. Let's see if any of you have any questions. Hey, Blair's on again. Yeah, good to see you, Blair. Blair did the um, practices, the 21, or the, yeah, 21 day journey of lower back bliss. And he's one of those. He's a construction worker. And he brought his pain level down to a one, to a three, and then if it starts to go up, because he has to lift heavy things, he has tools to bring it back down. So thanks, Blair, for hopping on with us. Hey, Cindy, Jeannie, what are the dates of the 21-day program? It's whenever you can. It's always gonna be there. Once you buy it, you always own it. There's not a date to it. Um, so hop on to my website and click at the tab on the top called Lower Back List. It'll explain it all. But it's a you know it's a self guided journey. But I will be there, and we have our own Facebook page, so I'll be jumping on and supporting you, and doing lives and answering any questions. But it's all there for you. And guess what? Once you own it, you always own it. You can go back and do it as many times as you want. You can go back and check on the tools that you maybe like didn't quite get the first time. It's always there for you. Yeah. All right. Anything else, just ask me in this Facebook page. I am so happy to be here with you and answer 
any questions. And of course, I want you to continue this journey with me. Now, we have one more day. So I'll be back tomorrow for day seven, same time, same place. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Go with the flow of your life. Inside, listen, listen. Outside, let it all happen and you just go with it. Bye.